Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about direct and indirect speech. There are basically two ways to report what somebody says. One is direct and the other one is indirect speech. We use direct speech when we are writing informally and we use indirect speech when we have to write formally. Direct speech is also known as quoted speech or direct discourse. It is to use somebody's exact words under the quotation marks. On the other hand, indirect speech is known as reported speech and we do not use somebody's exact words. Direct speech usually comprises of two parts. First one is reporting speech and the other one is reported speech. The sentence over here, he said to me, I am very sick today. The first part of the sentence, he said to me, is a reporting part and the later half of the sentence, I am very sick today, is known as a reported part. On the other hand, indirect speech is a speech in which we do not use the exact words of somebody and what we need to do is we have to change uh, the pronouns, verb and other words to fit the reported part in the sentence. Indirect speech do not have quotation marks. So, we can see that there is a key difference between direct and indirect speech. Direct speech is always under the quotation marks while the indirect speech does not have it. In indirect speech, we need to change pronouns, verb tense and other words. And in direct speech, we also need to add reporting verbs, for example, said, told, exclaimed. There are certain rules which needs to be followed when you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech. The first is the pronoun change. Second is verb tense change. Third is time and place expression. Fourth is reporting verb. Then backshift models. And the last one is punctuation. Okay. Let's start with the first rule of the conversion that is pronoun change. When you are changing a direct speech into indirect speech, you need to change the pronouns. For example, as you can see in the sentence given here, over here, he said to me, I'm going to the store. In direct speech, he said to me that he was going to the store. As you can see that I has been replaced with he. So whenever you are going to uh, convert a direct speech into indirect speech, you always has to change the pronouns. The second rule of conversion is the verb tense change. When you are converting a direct speech to an indirect speech, you need to change the verb tense in order to fit the context of the reporting speech. For example, the sentence given over here, she said she will call me tomorrow. When you convert into indirect speech, she said she would call me next day. As you can see that will is replaced with would. As you can see here, that the rules of conversion are fixed. For example, simple present tense will convert into a past tense. Present continuous tense will change into a past continuous tense. Present perfect tense will convert into a past perfect tense. Present perfect continuous tense will change into a past perfect continuous tense when you are reporting indirect speech. Same is the case when you are reporting a future sentence where you use will and shall, it will turn into would and should. And if you are writing future continuous tense where you use will be or shall be, it will be converted into would be and should be. The third rule of conversion is a rule of time and place expression. When you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech, you need to change the time and place uh, in order to show the shift between location and time. For example, as you can see over here, the direct spe speech says, they said, we are meeting here today. The indirect speech says, they said, they were meeting there that day. As you can see, that we, which is a pronoun, was replaced with they, are, that shows it's a uh, present continuous tense is changed with were and as you can see today was replaced with that day. As you can see this is a list over here that shows uh, the expressions and adverbs of time and place. 
the expression that is used in direct speech which is now it is replaced with then today will be replaced with that day and this week will be replaced that week so this is the list that you can follow when you are changing and converting the time and place uh, when reporting a indirect speech the fourth rule of conversion is the rule of reporting verb when you are converting a direct speech into an indirect speech you need to change the appropriate reporting verb in order to show that it is converted into indirect speech as you can see in the example he said can i help you uh, and when it is uh, converted into indirect speech he offered me to help so uh, we have to add a proper reporting verb when we are converting a direct speech into an indirect speech this is a list given over here in which you can see there are multiple reporting verbs uh, like said told explained appreciated wished told and requested added these are the words that you can use when you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech according to the sentence structure the fifth rule of conversion is the backshift of models uh, when you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech where words as can may will are used they are of sometimes backshifted for example as you can see over here the direct speech says she said she can swim when we are converting into indirect model uh, indirect speech she said she could swim so can is replaced with could as you can see the list of backshift models is given over here in which we can see that will be replaced uh, with would be uh, can will be replaced with could uh, shall will replaced with should may will replaced with might uh, ought to will be replaced with ought to had uh, in order to summarize what we have gone through so far is that when you are converting a direct speech into indirect speech we need to follow all these rules because these rules helps us to write more professional and more formal writings